Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, short topic about difference between not defined infinity and zero and approaching zero for limits in continuity chapter. Uh, the idea behind this video is that I really want to emphasize the difference between these four things. Uh, from my experience, I have seen that students often get confused between not defined infinity and zero and approaching zero. And because of this confusion, it leads to a lot of problems and this actually solve problems related to limits in continuity. There is a big difference uh, and it is really a fundamental difference and if there is some understanding which is missing about these uh, different quantities and different things which we will use in limits which we will use in limits and quantity it can create some problems later on. So, I want to just take out so just few minutes trying to explain what is the difference between not defined infinity 0 and approaching 0. So, the two terms which are often confused uh, is that whenever uh, you see something what is what people often confuse not defined and infinity and the definition uh, of not defined is anything divided by 0. So, you should just remember not defined means anything divided by 0 is not defined. Right? Anything divided by 0 is not defined and why people get confused between not defined and infinity uh, is that whenever you see infinity, infinity means a very large number. So, if I have infinity, infinity just means a very large number and minus infinity would mean a very large negative number in a very large in magnitude negative number. So, infinity people get confused with between these two values because let us say I have 1 and I have approaching 0 in denominator and not exactly 0 that is the difference. 0 and approaching 0 that is the difference. So, if you have 1 by 0 that is not defined and you have 1 by approaching 0 means the value is not exactly 0, but approaching 0 means the value is infinitesimally small and hence this number would be really large that is why it is infinity. So, I think this is like a very easy thing to understand, but people get often get confused and as you will see that uh, this can this can like create a lot of confusion if you do not really understand it well. well so, I will give some examples for instance tan x we know is sin x and by cos x right at x is equal to pi by 2. So, if you have a graph of uh, tan x, tan x looks something like this. Uh, so, let us focus at x is equal to pi by 2. Okay. Uh, so, at x is equal to pi by 2, tan x is sin pi by 2 by cos pi by 2 and that is 1 divided by 0 and hence tan x is not defined, not defined. Please, please, this is very, very important and I think it, it is so common to get confused. It is not defined. However, at if I am trying to evaluate limit x tends to pi by 2 negative, that is I am just li really little bit smaller than x is equal to pi by 2, pi by 2 and not at pi by 2. Again, limit does not mean the value is same. Then I have tan x is equal to sin pi by 2 negative and cos pi by 2 negative and this would be approaching 1 you can imagine that sin pi by 2 uh, sin gra the graph of sin is approaching 1 and the graph of cos pi by 2 is approaching 0 and not exactly 0 and hence the value is infinity and hence you in, in, in a graph you see something which is going really asymptotically going to a really high value just slightly left to pi by 2. But exactly at pi by 2, the, there is no value which can be represented on a graph because the value is not defined. So, as simple as that, but it is a really important concept and trust me, people get confused all the time. They just get confused all the time, even in such a simple thing. So, I hope that this makes sense. Anything divided by 0 is not defined and anything divided by approaching 0 is infinity. Okay. Uh, so, now, there, there are some differences uh, in 0 and approaching 0 as you can imagine here that is 0 and approaching 0 are completely different. I wanted to uh, 
give some examples to so, sort of highlight uh, what what could what could come out in in some cases for instance if you are approaching zero into infinity what what would be the answer of approaching zero multiplied by infinity uh, and this would be a important topic of our discussion in the next video but just to give you an example this is this may be finite because this is some really small value multiplied by really large value we don't know a really small value multiplied by the really large value what will be the answer so maybe finite maybe infinity maybe infinity we don't know what the value is and this is actually the discussion of the next topic and this forms the basis of almost the entire limits and quantity chapter however if i have zero into infinity if i have zero multiplied by infinity so zero times infinity then the value because it's exactly zero multiplied by a really large number it is exactly zero this value is exactly zero so if you have approaching zero into approaching infinity that may be infinity may be finite we don't know however if you have exactly zero infin into infinity that is exactly zero all right similarly if you have uh, approaching zero by approaching zero if you have approaching zero by approaching zero so it's a very very small value divided by a very very small value now we don't know whether the value would be 1 2 100 infinity or zero we don't know because you cannot guess a value and as we will see in the next few videos that this you can evaluate such cases but they can take any value so again the answer is maybe finite maybe infinity we don't know we don't know the what the answer would be however if you have exactly zero by approaching zero it is approaching it is exactly zero multiplied by infinity in other words it is exactly zero multiplied by infinity so again you can imagine that these two things are exactly the same approaching zero into infinity or approaching zero into approaching uh, by divided by approaching zero similarly zero by approaching zero is nothing but zero multiplied by infinity because one by approaching zero is infinity so the answer should be zero i hope that this this is you are able to follow that these two things are same and these two things are same and lastly uh, i just want to leave you with one thought i hope which everyone can now understand that approaching zero by exactly zero is not defined because anything divided by zero is not defined it cannot come on a graph there is no value that can explain anything divided by zero so the, we will talk about these things extensively from the next video but i hope that this was a short example but help you understand the difference between not defined infinity zero and approaching zero uh, i hope you like the video please check out the next video for more more uh, information about this this topic thank you